il grande assente del Giro d'Italia Jacob Fulsan caduto o meglio alle prese con una tendinite Jacob uh, how how do you feel in this uh, start of the Giro d'Italia uh, I'm, I'm, I'm of course a little bit sad that I cannot uh, that I cannot be on the, on the start line uh, but in the end with with all the problems I'd had uh, it didn't make sense in the end to to start and then to risk to to make it even worse so I had to set some some new goals and to look forward and then try to get something positive out of that but of course I'm I'm sad that uh, that I'm not able to to ride the Giro this year. when uh, we will uh, see you in the next races uh, normally I would do if everything goes like, like planned now today I was for the first time on the on the bike again and uh, hopefully I can be back for two of Luxembourg and two of the Swiss that's uh, the first two races and uh, and then uh, i will fight for a spot in, uh, in our tour selection. Who will win the Giro? Uh, I think maybe maybe Scaponi. Scaponi looks good, but he even also looks good. He even did a good uh, prologue yesterday, and um, yeah, could be that he that he is better than 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 we think. And Frankie, the other substitute, you? Frank also has a good opportunity, I think, and but he needs some time to get into the race. Um, but for sure, the, the the hard part is in the end of. Uh, the end of the Giro so uh, if, he, if he's in shape once we get there once they get there then then he can also be for sure one of the podium contenders